everybody, Tap Tap here. So, yes, Parker, that's right. It's video time. Hello. Um, <laughs> so, the anniversary event is seems to be a little bit delayed. Um, as always, there's been no official communication, but people have talked to them on Facebook Messenger, and they have replied and been like, oh, it's been in about 10 days, they said. They said that 10 days ago, but then they, there was some issues, and they apparently are actually going to fix bugs this time, so that's new. Um, and they said that it's delayed because it wasn't stable, so it's going to be in a week. And um, another bit of info is that somebody asked when the Krill Fusion thing is going to come out, and somebody actually sent me a bug they had where they just randomly got some Krill. I just checked my game now, and I don't see Krill. But they just randomly got 20 krill, so it does seem like that's going to be coming in the next update. Um, probably in the exact same update as the event. Um, since it seems like they're doing monthly events, the, their previous plan seemed to be, okay, we'll do an update every month, and either we'll do a normal fish update or we'll do an event. And it seems like they've gotten to the point where they're going to do an event every month, so I think they're finally getting comfortable releasing non-event stuff along with the event, so that'll be nice. Um, for me, one event a month is good, but it's a little bit sparse. Like, I kind of need... I think every two months would be the ideal keep-me-playing schedule, because I really don't have anything to do without an event. A lot of people ask me, like, do more videos and, you know, stuff, and it's like, or, you know, do a live stream. It's like, but you would not enjoy me doing a live stream. Like, I, if I did a live stream of a bit stream right now, like, I would just... I would just be, like, playing another game... Oh, and like occasionally looking at the chat while the stream's up because like I don't have anything to do. Oh, and I do have a, at the end of this video and just in the comments or in the in the description like I have a playlist of all of my Abyssrium videos. I have like over 90. I have over 24 hours of Abyssrium stuff. So you you really should be set if you just want to see me talk about Abyssrium for a long time because I've I already did that. <laughs> so just see those videos. I'll, I'll do a new video whenever there's something new. Speaking of something new, I guess it's spoilerinos in just a second here because the whole event, uh, seemingly the whole event, got leaked via the concept art. And it's kind of a funny story to this, but if you really don't want spoilerinos, I guess, you know, throw your phone in the toilet or something. Because I'm going to put it on screen like right now. That's right, Parker. And you know what's funny? Well, I'll get to that in a sec. So first, the spoilers. Um, it's some kind of like totally original character, um, definitely not Beauty and the Beast kind of thing, with like Bell Ariel and Fishman McGee, the Beast, whatever his name is. Did he have a name? I don't. I, I watched a lot of Disney movies as, as a kid, and then Disney turned out to be like a horrible, gross company, so I don't really like Disney anymore. Um, I don't really like this event a lot. I, I, I see the, the point of the event. The otter is kind of cute there. Um, I like the baby fish. The baby crocodile, baby sea turtle, and baby shark are adorable. Um, I just hope they're not insane to get, because they were insane to get in the last anniversary event. Um, we don't know anything else about the event other than this. We don't know the costs or anything, so stay tuned for that. Like, like that first message said, it'll probably start... Um, usually what they do is that they do a slow rollout starting on Monday, and like 1% of people have the game on Monday. 5% of people have it on Tuesday. 10% of people have it on Wednesday, so on and so on. And then by Sunday, pretty much everybody has it. So don't panic if you don't get it on Monday. Um, it's just... yeah. But yeah, these, these seem to be the fish. And the funny thing is, this is a, this is a concept art image, right? Like, if you look, it's kind of hard to tell because it's, you know... Um, or actually, it's easy to tell with... Uh, There's another image somebody had of just the mermaids. Um, and it just looks like a concept art image because it doesn't really look like quite like the Abyssrium in-game style. Like, it's not, like, low-poly and stuff, so I'm pretty sure these are concept art images. Like, they might be 3D, but it's not in the style of the game itself quite yet. The the whale kind of is. But, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this event, honestly. Um, also, there was, a, there was a message they said where they, somebody asked if there was something big like the Kraken. And the devs said, they said yes. Well, I mean, the support guy said yes. That's right. And um, I don't know if he was referring to the the mermaid, the mer peoples, the merples, if you will. But um, 
No, I, I was kind of hoping for something, you know. Like, we'd get a big secret creature every time. You know, it's like a final collection bonus, because that would be neat. Also, it seems like they started... They, they let him dance. Hashtag let him dance has been a success, because it seems like the hermit crab just stays now. Um, you don't have to wait for an event for him to be back. You can't dig with him, of course, or, you know, dance, but... He just sits around. But you can even see the uh, Egyptian one if we go... Oh, wait, this is the Egyptian one. You can see the pyro one, too. I changed it because I did. I, I did. I wasn't a huge fan of the pirates. I think I think it's a cute event. I think it's a neat thing. It's just not my personal favorite, you know, style. Which that's gonna happen when they do themes and stuff. Not everybody likes everything. Um, so yeah, looking forward to a new event. Not this theme so much exactly, but finding the hidden fish and stuff is always fun anyway. So we'll see that. Like I said, I expect this to be an about. You know, I'm thinking maybe Monday or Tuesday the first people are going to start getting it, so I'll start collecting info then. Uh, and hopefully I can get the event, and the, you know, the actual update. Uh, speaking of the Facebook drama that I forgot to mention, so... The Facebook community for this game is honestly kind of terrible. Uh, sorry, sorry for anyone who, like, genuinely helps people and, like, you know, is, is not a jerk. I'm sure, like, a majority of people are non-terrible, right? But... Every time I hear about stuff on Facebook in this game, it's always terrible. So the, the dev said, oh, I, I, somebody leaked our thing. This is It's illegal to share these pictures. And no, it's not illegal. Uh, the only time sharing a leak is, you know, illegal is if you're like a government agent or something that's like protected information. Uh, if you breach an NDA, like the thing is, these are concept arts. Like, like I said, this is pretty clearly concept art, not like an image from the game, so... Even if, like, an early tester were to, like, be unscrupulous and share things, they wouldn't have concept art images. Unless the devs gave it to them, but... W w what I can only imagine must have happened was that, um... They... Like, one of their own team leaked it or something, or shared it with a friend and then their friend leaked it, and I mean... That's up to them and their employees. Like, worst thing they could do is, like, fire somebody. So, you know, they're, they're, they're not great with English, and I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're just random company dudes wanting people to stop things, so a lot of the times, random-ass company McGee is not the best source of legal advice. Uh, that's another thing, a lot of companies basically tell you lies about what's legal and not. Like, 90, like, probably 99% of terms of service agreements um, aren't, would not actually stand up in a court of law. Very often they will tell you illegal things and, you know, they just count on nobody challenging them. Terms of services are basically just to scare customers into not doing things. They don't, most of the time they don't really mean anything, but most people aren't going to take it to court, so it doesn't matter. That's, that's their secret cap. It's always illegal. Anyway, uh, but yeah, a lot of people are like flipping out on Facebook over this, like, oh my god, you guys are ruining the game, you guys are sharing illegal information, how dare you, you filthy beast. And um, a lot of, around the Valentine's Day event, people were just horrible uh, about this and just like harassing people. Like A lot of people were extremely mad at me because I try to help people enjoy a game. And I wanted the game to continue to be enjoyable, so I mean, screw me, honestly. I mean, I'm such a, a jerk face butt because I attempt to help people enjoy a video game, which is honestly the most offensive thing that has ever been done in the history of mankind. So I, I completely understand why people made multiple accounts for the purposes of expressly harassing me on YouTube. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, I'm really, gl I'm really glad that terrible event is over and that we've gone back to good events. Because there was a lot of really bad people. We on, on the Abyssrium Reddit, we like I don't think we ever banned anybody that wasn't a bot until that event rolled around. We had to ban around five or six people just because they were such jerks. It's like it's not like if you like the Valentine's Day event and you love Gashapon and you you know have an addictive personality and you know you just you know love gambling. I mean that's whatever, but don't be a jerk to people who want the game to not be awful. Speaking of not being awful, I mean, I need to store these. I, I hate the, the treasure bag fish. Let's, let's take out. Man, this, I just really like the Egyptian theme stuff, and then the, the, the pirate stuff is like, eh, it's pirates, I guess. But the treasure bag jellyfish is one of my least favorite jellyfish. Now, this boy right here, Petal Crinoid, that's, oh, that's actually one of the fish that I requested. And I did like a top five things I would love to see in Abyssrium, and Crinoids 
um, or feather stars are uh, we're one of them. So I hope we get like a regular crinoid, but these ones are very beautiful too. Really like this event. Speaking of, this was excuse me, this was a really good event, but I mean visually really good event. But I did not the this was before they figured out the hermit crab situation and uh, made it fun even without Song of the Moon. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to talk about. Um, event in a week. Krill Farm, seemingly, in a week. That'll be nice, because, you know, the Krill Farm um, has been coming soon here for... Oh, they changed the name. Somebody... <laughs> some Somebody messaged me and, like, oh, no, it, it just says Seaweed, not Seaweed Farm, and I guess they just changed the name. So if, if you message me about that, it's... Things change in games, don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, this krill farm has been coming soon for over a year at this point. Because it was somewhere around June last year that the uh, seaweed came out. <laughs> and I was expecting it by like August of that year that we would have krill farm. And, and instead it's going to be almost August of the, the next year. <laughs> but, uh, whew. Whatever. So, that'll be fun to see. And I'm, I'm betting since the crabs worked like this. The way the crabs worked is there was like three different... Oh wait, this is not the fish. The way the crabs worked is that um, there was like three different releases of fish with crabs. Um, or fish that use crabs. And uh, I'm expecting similar for the, the krill. At least probably an update or two with different fish to kind of space it out. I don't know. I really hope there's not like a limited edition fish that costs 18 billion krill. Because they did that like three times in a row for crabs and that was really annoying. That's right, Parker. Moo! Yes, hello. You coming to say bye to the video? That's right. Occasionally people ask if they can see Parker, by the way. I have a full, uh, just go to youtube.com slash sir tap tap. Or search sir tap tap at Parker. Uh, I have tons of videos of Parker. I think I have almost 100 at this point. It might even be over 100, I don't know. But it's a lot. So you can see lots of Parker. And you can get Parker pictures on my Patreon. I should mention my Patreon more often. Uh, if you... If you contribute to me on Patreon, you can get Parker pictures every month. Uh, there's an exclusive album that only Patreon backers get. Uh, I do early videos, so you get finalized videos uh, published early. If you support on Patreon, and you also get to get to have your name on the end card, if you donate enough, and the end card will be sewn up in like just a second, so you can see what it looks like. But yeah, that's all the Abyssinian info for this week, I guess. See you when there's more to talk about.